Glider 1-1 Gliders and Sailplanes Welcome to today's lecture on gliders and sailplanes. Our journey into the realm of soaring begins with an introduction to the sheer joy and addictive thrill of flying. Whether it's a lifelong dream or a newfound interest, the pleasure derived from flying gliders is truly unparalleled. The intellectual challenge, coupled with the serene beauty of soaring high above the earth, captivates individuals of all ages. Contemplating further exploration into this sport? An introductory flight is a pivotal step in making an informed decision. Soaring gracefully through the air, immersed in meditative silence, offers a refreshing and exciting experience. Notably, organizations such as the Soaring Society of America SSA, provide excellent programs to track a pilot's learning progression and issue badges for flight and knowledge accomplishments. Glider clubs across the country offer top-notch flight training schools and foster pilot camaraderie. Now, let's delve into the purpose of the Glider Flying Handbook, designed to assist pilots in achieving their aviation goals and providing the necessary knowledge for private, commercial, and flight instructor category ratings for gliders. This handbook, in conjunction with the Pilot's Handbook of Aeronautical Knowledge, serves as a fundamental source of information for certification as a glider pilot and instructor. Additionally, there are numerous commercial sources available to pilots for reference, offering supplementary information for their journey. Our exploration into gliders wouldn't be complete without tracing their roots. The early years were marked by the human pursuit of flight, inspired by the intricate designs dreamed up in an attempt to mimic birds. Leonardo da Vinci's 15th-century sketches, including the human-powered ornithopter, exemplify these aspirations. However, it was Sir George Cayley in 1799 who conceptualized a craft with stationary wings for lift, flappers for thrust, and a movable tail for control. The dream of human flight persisted, with Otto Lilienthal, the German pioneer of human flight, earning the title of the Glider King. Lilienthal's documented, successful gliding flights, starting in 1891, significantly influenced public and scientific opinions about the feasibility of flying machines. Transitioning to the early 1900s, the Wright brothers entered the scene, experimenting with gliders and gliding flight in Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. Their emphasis on mastering flight control through soaring, distinct from others rushing to add power, led to the first powered flight in 1903. By 1906, gliding as a sport was rapidly progressing, evidenced by an American glider meet on Long Island. Orville Wright set a world duration record in 1911, flying his motorless craft for 9 minutes and 45 seconds. The 1920s saw Soaring's evolution, spurred by developments in Germany post-World War I, where restrictions on powered aircraft led to new discoveries in lift. By 1937, the first world championships were held in Germany. Fast forward to the 1950s, and Soaring continued to develop rapidly, with Dr. Paul McCready Jr., becoming the first American to win a World Soaring Championship in 1956. The subsequent decades, from the 1960s to the 1980s, witnessed a surge in Soaring's popularity, accompanied by a revival of hang gliders and ultralight aircraft. By the late 1990s, aviation had become commonplace, with Soaring evolving into a diverse and captivating sport. Modern gliders, crafted from composite materials, employ refined aerodynamics and control systems. Soaring pilots now utilize sophisticated instrumentation, including GPS and variometers integrated into electronic glide computers, enabling them to venture farther, faster, and higher than ever before. The evolution of gliders and sailplanes has been a fascinating journey, marked by innovation, determination, and the pursuit of the ultimate thrill of flight. As we explore further in subsequent lectures, we'll delve into the intricacies of glider design, aerodynamics, and the modern technology that propels this sport to new heights. Thank you for joining me in today's exploration of gliders and sailplanes. Let's delve into the distinctions between gliders and sailplanes, terms often used interchangeably in aviation. According to the Federal Aviation Administration, FAA, a glider is officially defined as a heavier-than-air aircraft supported in flight by the dynamic reaction of the air against its lifting surfaces, and crucially, its free flight does not depend principally on an engine. This term designates the rating placed on a pilot certificate after successfully completing the required glider knowledge and practical tests. Here, we have an image of a Schleicher ASK-21 glider, exemplifying the aircraft we're discussing. Moving on. Another widely accepted term in the industry is sailplane. A sailplane, essentially a glider, is a heavier-than-air fixed-wing aircraft designed to fly efficiently and gain altitude solely from natural forces, such as thermals and ridge waves. 
Unlike older gliders or military aircraft, modern-day sailplanes are explicitly designed to ascend in various lifting conditions. Some sailplanes are equipped with sustaining engines to facilitate level flight, even in light sink or areas of descending airflow. More advanced sailplanes may have engines powerful enough for takeoffs and climbs to soaring altitudes. In both cases, the power plants and propellers are designed to be stopped in flight and retracted into the body of the sailplane to maintain the high efficiency necessary for non-powered flight. Understanding the distinction between gliding and soaring is essential. Gliding, which involves flying a glider or sailplane, is relatively easy to learn. However, soaring, the art of gaining altitude and traveling without power, is a more challenging yet immensely satisfying feat when accomplished. Soaring specifically refers to the sport of flying sailplanes, often encompassing long-distance travel and extended periods aloft. Early gliders were simple and inexpensive, primarily designed for short flights off a hill to a landing area due to their low lift and high drag characteristics. Notably, both terms, glider and sailplane, are acceptable and synonymous in usage. Now, let's explore a fascinating category within the world of gliders, the self-launching gliders. These gliders are equipped with engines that, when shut down, exhibit the same flight characteristics as non-powered gliders. The engine enables them to launch under their own power, and once airborne, pilots can shut down the engine and fly with the power off. Later in this handbook, we will delve into the additional training and procedures required to earn a self-launch endorsement. As we proceed, we'll further unravel the nuances of gliders, sailplanes, and the intricacies of their design and operation. If you click, like, and, subscribe, and leave a comment, we will provide a coupon for a free PDF download one of nine ebooks. However, each individual can only download up to, one, out of nine ebooks for free.